If they miss here, Kilian, there's no other way. You have to score, sir. And Mbappe is the one. It's over. It's over. It's over. Good morning, guys. Uh, well, it's probably not morning where you're at, but anyway. As you guys saw yesterday, man, uh, France lost in the Euro round of 16 against Switzerland. Man, that was an emotional game because one of my favorite players, Pogba, played so well and they still took an L. But anyway, we are the next day today. I'm heading out to shoot some content. And I just thought I'll take you guys with me uh, to just show you how I personally shoot my own content. I actually don't do this often. Today I was like, you know what? It's a beautiful day this morning. So I woke up pretty early. I woke up around 6, 6.30 and uh, got changed, uh, wrote down some ideas of what I wanted to shoot, got the outfit ready. Now I'm ready to step up. So yeah, I'll take you guys with me, show you guys what I shoot and how I usually tend to shoot. I have like my tripods, my cameras, my phone. I usually shoot all my content, at least my Instagram content on my phone. I'll talk about that in more details once I'm done shooting. But yeah, anyway, let's head out. This is uh, before work starts. So it's around 7.30 right now, almost eight. Uh, I'm gonna head out. Usually I shoot near my house, so it doesn't take me long. Like honestly, like for the most part, I shoot between, it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes max. So yeah, if I'm doing a reel, maybe 30 minutes, but yeah. Anyway, let's head out. I have my Wuyang Mi vest, a Uniqlo t-shirt, and my bag from Stevie Sale, an article um, collaboration, which I actually get so much wear out of. I love this bag, man. I tend to wear it all the time, especially now during the, uh, the summer. It's just such a good uh, throw on crossover body bag. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's a bit noisy, there's a lot of construction going on, but uh, the pictures are turning out pretty good, to be honest. Like, I mean, I've been shooting for about um, 10 minutes, give or take, and uh, yeah, I already knew kind of like the location that I wanted to shoot in, so that made it super easy to just like get out of the house and come right where I wanted to shoot. Luckily, it's a bit sunny, so there was good lighting. But yeah, I'm super happy with the pictures so far. I'll show you guys once we get back into the house. I'm gonna do a full sort of like um, editorial on how I usually edit, um, what I usually do. But for me, honestly, I don't, I don't do much. Most of the time when I edit, I just kind of like either brighten the picture or use a bit of contrast and that's about it. But anyway, let's head back home. I'm pretty much done shooting now. Uh, I love how the picture turned out and the outfit. So yeah. Let's get on home and I'll show you guys everything and detail everything. saying the shooting went pretty well honestly it didn't even take me that much time um, like I said in the previous clip the reason why is probably because I already knew the location that I wanted to shoot at and I had kind of already prepared my outfit I knew what I wanted to shoot in 
all of that personally for me saves me a ton of time you know just being able to kind of like prep in advance whether it's like i'm browsing through instagram to see what inspires me or like through pinterest or just various uh, platforms if i know i'm gonna be waking up pretty early to shoot i'll try to get that sorted the night prior so in most cases i'll prep sort of like the outfit that I want to shoot in, uh, the location most of the time, because I'm consistently walking around my neighborhood, I'm usually always looking um, for uh, places where I can shoot content. When I find something that I really like, I'll usually either write down the name of the street, you know, or I'll just remember where to go for next time when I want a certain fit, right? Uh, I don't really tend to coordinate like my background with my outfit. Usually it's just more so like, you know what, if the background looks pretty neat for me. I'll just kind of throw on anything and just get out there and shoot. If um, I don't come up with anything that I truly like, then I'll probably try to change location and find something else. So let's hop into it. I'll go into sort of like my recently taken pictures, as you can see. So most of the time, um, I'll usually select the ones that I really like and uh, my favorites. Uh, so they can move into the favorites um, folder. And then from there, I'll kind of trim it down again and see like the top four or top three that I really like. So as you can see here, um, this is actually a reel that I'm gonna work on later. Um, but as you can see, like all these ones that I tapped are the ones that I really like. So I've already done that. Um, these are no go, so keep scrolling. And then basically from here, I'll go to my um, favorites. Here, I edit everything in the Instagram app. I don't really, like I know a lot of people usually use um, either third parties, like other apps like uh, Visco, or um, even edit on their phone first before posting it uh, on Instagram. For me, honestly, the first thing that I'll kind of mention is lighting. Like I usually tend to um, I, I tend to try to find places that have good lighting because I don't want to have to do much to my picture post-production. You know, a lot of the times, like if you see, if I find the right location with my outfit, like you see here, it's got like a little bit of green pop in, which is kind of nice. I love the beige trousers and the white socks with the white shoes. So we'll hop into my Instagram. I'll go to my posts. So these are some that I've already worked on. These are my drafts. Uh, this one I've actually already posted it, so I'm gonna delete it, um, discard. So from here, I'll go to my favorites, right? Then I can start playing around with my picture and see which one I want first, second, third, or fourth. So from here, um, kind of like this one. So um, what I would do here is I'll go to next, edit so i usually tend to bring my pictures a bit closer so people can get the details of the outfit so in this case what i'll do is i'll kind of zoom in a little bit like there mm. yeah there and then from here really like i said the brightness is good if i want i'll increase it just a little bit and then contrast Put contrast at 10 maybe or 12 yeah there you go and then structure and the structure and the sharpness is what i play around with a lot just because i want the picture to be as sharp as possible although iphone does already like an amazing job um see i'll put this at 12. warm sometimes i'll brighten it up a little bit not always maybe like yeah put this at 13 and then sharpness usually so from here, I'll go to sharpness, 10. Okay, so put a bit more brightness. There you go. Um, I play around with the Lux sometimes, not always to be honest, but yeah, like here, I won't really even, I won't even play around with it. This, I'll keep it like that. So what I do from here is I'll just save this picture and that will probably be my first one. So when I come back here, boom, I have it right there. So yeah, that's how I usually edit. I try to keep it as simple as possible in most cases. And then for the items that I use, um, okay, so the first one is this 
UB size uh, ring light. I use this for like a lot of stuff, you know, when I'm shooting reels in my, in my apartment or uh, sometimes when I'm even recording at night, I'll use this light. I think it's a great, great investment. If you're someone that shoots content here and there and wants something to invest in when you don't have anyone to shoot with, definitely highly suggest this. This is perfect. Um, I'll leave a link down below for anyone that wants to purchase the same one. And also the cool thing is that it comes with a little remote as well. And this remote just basically allows you to press while this you're shooting. Uh, it has iOS and Android on it. So, you know, if you have an Android, you can use the remote still. But yeah, really convenient. So that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video. Definitely helps me out a lot with the channel. And as always, you can follow me on my Instagram where you see me upload all these pictures and more on their architecture and fashion usually. So yeah, follow me on there. It's G-R-E-G-N-T-O-R-E. -E. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I can't thank you enough. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.